Hello, we're back, my friends. Thank you for joining us. We're coming to you live from the Torch Center. And we are up to way number seven for the seventh day of the Omer, seventh day of the counting of the Omer leading up to Shavuot. And the seventh way is humility. And uh, there's no trait that is more important for a person to be happy, for, for, for a person to be loved, for a person to be, uh, uh, you know, fulfilled, than to be humble. Uh, humble is a quality which uh, s s identifies a fulfillment from inside. When a person is fulfilled inside, they don't need to show off on the outside. Uh, it also uh, identifies a person's relationship with God and with godliness. So, um, you know, we find the quality of humility was with Moses. Uh, Moses was chosen to be the leader because he was humble more than any other man. We know that uh, we have uh, the Mount Sinai was, was chosen to be uh, the, the mountain be, uh, that the Torah re was received on and given to the Jewish people because of its humility. It was the smallest mountain, not Mount Everest, which was the tallest. And we have also, uh, you know, it says that the Jewish people, um, you know, it, we always start, uh, Shavuot is always on the parsha of Bamidbar, right proceeding by Midbar, and that's because in order to acquire the Torah, you need to make yourself like a Midbar. Midbar, midbar is a desert. You need to make yourself like a desert, right? Meaning, humble. In order to receive the Torah, in order to gain any of the qualities of life, you need to have humility. Now, what is humility? Humility, very, very simplistically and superficially, we dedicated plenty of time in our Muslim Mondays to this topic, but very simply, you know, there are people that when you're in their presence, they suck out all the air from the room. And there are people who are exactly the opposite, is that they make everyone feel special. Uh, humility is not one who takes out the ear from the room. That's more of an arrogant person. A humble person uh, understands that every quality that they have is not theirs. It's a gift from the Almighty. And it doesn't give them a right to brag, but rather it gives them an obligation to fulfill. And it's a very important idea that a, a person who, who has talents, a person who's gifted by God doesn't have the right to brag about it. Uh, that person instead has to utilize it and maximize it and use it properly. Uh, so humility is a very, very fundamental tool to, to have a, a, a pleasure in life, to maximize pleasure. Because someone who's arrogant is never comfortable with themselves. They're never happy. They're never content. They always want more attention. They want, always want everybody to recognize them more and more. And that's, that's uh, one of the uh, big challenges that a person can, can, can have in their life with not being pleased and not being fulfilled from what they have. Um, one of the quick points on humility is that, you know, we say that Sheker hachen vehevel hayofi, isha yirat Hashem hitetalal. This is at the end of Eshat Chayil. We say the following: these words. Sheker hachen. You know, chen is grace. Uh, that's it's false. Vehevel hayofi and beauty. Beauty is nonsense, right? Isha yirat Hashem hitetalal. But a God-fearing woman, that's praiseworthy. So our sages try to understand what's going on over here, and they say the following idea. It's an amazing thought. Grace and beauty are not something that you work on. It's something you either have or don't have. It's a gift from God. So for someone to praise grace and beauty, it's, it's, it's really meaningless, because that person didn't do anything to have that beauty, to have that grace. But someone who's a God-fearing person, meaning someone who works on himself, someone who attains great traits, someone who has to work on overcoming their instincts, their impulse, someone who has a temper and works on that, that is praiseworthy. That's considered yirat Hashem, hitet halal. That is praiseworthy because that's something that doesn't come natural. That's something which is a gift from God. So God should bless us all. Number one is to recognize all of the incredible qualities that we have. But number two is utilize those qualities and recognize that they're not a bragging rights, but rather they're obligation for us to really utilize them properly and bring them to their fullest potential.
Thank you for, for joining us, and thank you for liking and sharing these videos. Have a great day.